Hi everyone, so we're going to be looking at how we can set up new line characters. So new line characters are something that is represented by a backslash n. So new line character just means that we're going to start on a new line whenever it's before a certain word or certain space in our text or in our code. So I'm just going to set up a basic sentence here and I'm just going to say var text one is equal to welcome to Canada. And what we're going to do here is this is just a regular sentence. We already have the spaces in between. That's fine. If I console log and I'm just going to put text one so I know what I'm referring to and I'm going to call the text one variable. It's just going to basically print out text one, the two colons and then welcome to Canada. And if I run it, open the terminal, and I just run node index.js. You can see it says text one, welcome to Canada. And what I wanna do though is I wanna make each word start on a new line in the terminal. So here you can see it's all on one line, but I want each word, so after welcome, it'll be two on the next line and then Canada on its own line as well. So what I could do is I could do Let's just put var text two is equal to welcome. And then I could do backslash n two backslash n Canada. And then I can do console.log. Let's put text two here. And I'm just going to be calling the variable text two. So we're gonna get text to the two colon and then it'll say welcome first on the on the entire line the first line but then the backslash n is going to say okay break the next word into a new line so two will be on the line below and then backslash n again a new line and then canda will be on its own line so let's save it and i'm going to run node index.js so when i run it you can see the first one, text one, we get all on one line. But here for text two, we get welcome on the first line. And then two is on its own line. And Canada is on its own line as well. And if I want to put a space between this last word and whatever we want to do next on the terminal, I could just put a backslash n here at the end. And if I run it, you can see I get that empty space right there. And I could also... I could always put more um, new line characters. So I could just put backslash n, backslash n, and then here again, backslash n, backslash n, save it, and I'm gonna run it. And you can see now we get this empty space between each word on its own line.